This is Yu-Gi-Oh's newest rarity, the Quarter Century Secret Rare, designed to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the game and it looks incredible. What would look even more incredible though is a completed set of every single one. With hundreds of different Quarter Century Rares being released throughout the year, the collector inside of me sees this as the perfect challenge, so we're going to attempt to collect every piece of this shiny puzzle one by one. Welcome to Tread. Treasure Hunters. Ay! Subscribe. Things are getting a bit too crazy now because not only did the Rarity Collection just throw another 81 quarter century secret rares into the mix, but we got another jump scare this week. I had no idea side sets were going to have quarter centuries as well. Then Valiant Smashers comes straight out of the gate with three more. And what are we going to do? Thankfully, we did get a super stacked Konami opening and pulled some mad value alongside one of the three quarter centuries that we need. So that kind of makes up for it. I can't complain too much. But uh, yeah, the QC count just continues to go up. Also, recently I got a weird email saying I have a package from Magic Madhouse waiting to be delivered, but I never ordered anything from Magic Madhouse, so I was really curious to see what the deal with that was. And then it arrived. Yo, I am actually buzzing to open this. Obviously, I already know what's inside because I had to check it to see what the heck it was. And it is actually part of the series because the pot collection is finally here, baby, and I can finally open it. Let's go. Honestly, I think we were like one of the first people to receive these in the UK because I don't see anything on eBay or any of the Facebook groups. So yeah, it's gonna be sick. Look at the box. The pot collection, baby. Other than the pot of greed, I don't actually know what to do with the rest of the cards. I got the pots to have on display, and then obviously we need the pot of greed. But the other cards, I guess we'll figure out what to do with them in the future. Opening the box here. Yo, there it is. There it is. The quarter century secret rare pot of greed, baby. And a stack of other cards in here as well. And bro, okay. We're gonna have to assemble all of this. Damn, there they all are. All right, uh, I'll go set them all up and then we can sort of have a look at them there, but we'll go through the cards first real quick. The Quarter Century Secret Rare Pot of Greed, adding one more to our total Quarter Century collection. And wait, these look like Quarter Centuries as well. No, it's like the OCG Parallel Rare, uh, but they're Ultra Rares. Dude, these are actually really shiny as well. These look sick. Pot of Greed, draw two cards, baby. We have Pot of Generosity. They feel like OCG cards as well. Pot of Avarice. We have Pot of Benevolence. Pot of Riches. Basically just all the pots. Uh, pot of Acquisitiveness. Pot of Duality. Classic. Pot of Dichotomy. Very cool. We have... Dude, God, they stick together as well. Pot of Desires. Very, very nice. Pot of Extravagance. Pot of Prosperity. There's the big one. Or at least it was the big one when this was announced. Uh, because of the rarity collection, it's not a hugely meaningful reprint anymore. We also have the spirit of the Pot of Greed. Look at this effect monster in amongst all these spell cards, bro. And we also have Moray of Greed. And finally, the Shard of Greed as well. So honestly, not actually sure what I'm going to do with all of these cards here. But the QC Pot of Greed, straight in the binder, baby. Bro, what on earth? It feels like we got a little Lego set for Christmas. What is this guy? Like, what is it? A little slug. Is it Mori of Greed? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so that gives us our Legatia and our Pot of Greed to go into our binder collection real quick. And I have been reading the comments. So many people uh, unaware that we had our staples at the front have been like, yo, I hate how you're organizing this binder, bro. That triggers me. So I have decided to move the staples to another binder and sort this the way it should be sorted. We have put them all to the front and are now organizing it by set number. Uh, so for example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three in the Battles of Legend. Kind of gives us a better idea of where cards should be going. Uh, just missing the, I believe that's a Dark Harmed Dragon there to fill out this double page here. Moving into the Duelist Nexus set. Mate, we're gonna have a huge mail day later as well, filling out all of this. 
So that's gonna be crazy, especially with the rarity collection. But yeah, these are gonna be going at the very back. And because the rarity collection is like currently empty, it's gonna be kind of tough to figure out where they are. I believe the final quarter century from rarity collection goes here. That would be 81. Then we have three from Valiant Smashers, but I think that would look kind of odd. So if we put the Pot of Greed here, and then if there's ever an additional sort of spare quarter century secret rare like a single release or like i'm pretty sure the blue eyes comes in like a kaiba briefcase potentially that could go there next to the pot of greed and then we can start off the valley smashers up here and we can just have the three of those in the same binder row as well here's a quick look at my uh, staple binder if you're interested i am just going for secret rare printings of all of the rarity collection stuff because it looks so nice dude like secret rare effect failure man come on and then all the other sort of Nice, affordable, high-rarity printings. Hunter's currently borrowing my third Ultra Droll. Uh, but yeah, I still need to finish out our rarity collection stuff. Like, I have one secret Lava Golem. I need to upgrade the other two. And uh, yeah, just kind of trying to figure out what cards we should have in here. I do need to grab the third secret talents. Uh, two more secret droplet, actually. So we'll get there. I mean, it's not a huge priority. We'll just upgrade this binder slowly. And this is for me just playing in the future competitively we'll probably have all our cores at the back here like our adventure core but uh yeah a nice separate binder now for the staples alongside our quarter centuries now i'm sure you're eager to see the progress we've made with rarity collection and what better way to do it than to start with opening a box ourselves i headed straight on to geckocards.go.uk forward slash revs bought myself a box and uh, you could do that too with sleeves boxes other card games whatever you want using the link in the description and that'll also help us progress in this challenge here by giving us a little kickback to put towards more quarter century secret rares <gasps> okay so i wasn't planning originally to open a box for this episode however this set is just so fun to open that i thought we might as well pick up some more quarter century secret rares and then we can trade all of the excess shinies that we pull into more quarter century secret rares <gasps> so let's get into it let's see if we can pull a triple god pack because that would be insane i'm yet to see anyone open one of those collectors rares alties platinum secret rares we don't care about any of that here on this series it's only the quarter century secret rares we want so let's pull some good ones i'm kind of expecting a lot of them to end up pretty cheap over the next couple of weeks so uh, if we can pull an ash a baron a prosperity you know any of the staples we are happy, happy days. All right, Blackwing, Samoon the Poison Wind. Shout out to Scott from Locals, you know, Blackwings. Let's go. Pot of Prosperity, super rare in our first pack, baby. Hell yeah, you'll love to see it. So our two Konami boxes we opened didn't have a single Pot of Prosperity. Nice to see that we can actually pull the card uh, for once. We have Decode, Talker, Heat Soul, Secret Rare, Pot of Extravagance, and Abyss Dragon. So no special rarities in that pack, but we did get a Prosperity, which is very, very nice. Shame we didn't open that in the uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! properly series. Would have been very helpful. Striker Dragon, Super Rare, Deco Talker, Heat Soul. We have a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Platinum Secret Rare, followed by Flare Metal Dragon Ultra and Ultra Summon Limit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Currently, I'm actually unaware of a lot of the values on the set. I know Collector's Baron and Collector's Ash are roughly around £45 each, so already there's been a lot of fallout on the higher rarities. We have Dengursu and Punishment. That looks really nice in this, like, super rare foiling for some reason. We have a Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon Secret Rare. Very, very slight misprint there on the g on the name we have ancient fairy dragon and a cherubini come on now we're better than that we have a blue eyes abyss dragon and ash blossom super rare very very cool to go alongside our prosperity quarter century secret rare it looks like is it going to be a good one it is a synchro no dude junk speeder shit i thought it was going to be brawn for a sec man brawn would have been so sick uh we do need the junk speeder obviously so we can't complain as long as we don't get any duplicates we're not too bad off we have Time Thief Reader and a Collector's Rare <laughs> Forbidden Droplet, baby. Hell yes. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, that is very, very nice. I don't know how expensive this is, actually. Might be, you know, 10, 20, 30, maybe. Very, very nice pack right there. If that was a Baron plus a Droplet, that would have been insane, though. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. What else do we have? Magicians, Salvation, Artemis. We have a Lava Golem Secret Rare. Very nice. Into a Collector's Rare nightmare unicorn all art baby yo we got another double we got double banger here 
All art collectors are Nightmare Unicorn into collectors rare Galaxy Eyes of Full Armor Photon Dragon. My god, I think uh, no, Quarter Century Secret Rare All Art Art Unicorn is probably gonna look better, but those are some very, very nice pools. They look kind of like ghost rare from this angle. God, it looks really, really weird from where I'm sitting. Uh, all right, we have Tour Guide and Alpha, the Master of Beasts, into a Secret Rare pre preparation of rights. We have the Iris Sword Soul and Dingursu. We are expecting three quarter centuries, three platinum secrets, four ultis, and four collectors per box. So, uh, going ham on the collectors so far. Lava Golem, we have Selene. Uh, Secret Rare, we have Elder Entity Entis. Very cool. We have Blackwing Samoon and another Junk Speeder. Where's the rest of the prosperities at? Barons. Come on, low rarities. Let's go. Tri Brigade Revolt, we have Artemis. Secret Rare is Time Thief Redoer, and then we have, oh, Dragostepalia, and an ultimate rare, Nightmare Unicorn. This one looks really, really nice. Usually it's like super, super glossy, but uh, this art actually has some nice texture in the background as well. Damn, I actually like that. I actually like that ultimate rare Unicorn. I wasn't a huge fan of the ultimate rares in comparison to like the collectors in the quarter centuries, but that Unicorn looks nice, bro. All right, come on, quarter century Ash, let's go. We have Compulse. Add the Iris Sword Soul into the Iris Sword Soul, okay. We also have Ice Dragon's Prison and Afterglow Dragon. Collector's Rare Forbidden Droplet, I think is our best pool so far. We have Inspector Border, called by the Grave Super Rare, very, very nice. We have Alpha, the Master of Beasts in Secret, Ice Barrier and Ghost Bell Ultra Rare. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I've seen uh, quite a few people pull like a place out of Prosperity in a single box. Kind of hoping that happens to us right here. Super Rare Chaos Face, Change of Heart into Fallen of Alabaz Platinum Secret Rare. God, that looks extra shiny, dude. I kind of want to see all the rarities of this card just to decide which one I want to play in our branded deck. We have a Spellbook of Judgment and a Collector's Rare at the back here. Effect Veiler, Collector's Rare. Let's go, dude. This does not have a Collector's Rare printing. So very, very nice. Probably has, you know, a decent bit of value to it. Damn, we're pulling some nice trade bait here. Some very nice trade bait. We have a Sphere Mode Super Rare and Eldritch the Golden Lord Alt Art. We have a Secret Rare Reasoning going into Ancient Fairy Dragon and another Striker Dragon. Come on, let's see if the second half can top this. Summon Limit. We have Egyptian God Slime, very nice. Secret Rare, Fairy Tail Luna into Tour Guide and Compulse. All right, just, uh, just a normal pack right there. <laughs> what else do we have? Redoer. We have Darnard Magician into Ghost Rick, Angel of Mischief, Secret Rare. We do have an ultimate rare, Eldelich, the Golden Lord, baby. Look at him go. He is a very, very glossy boy. And Danger Jackalope. All right. So four collectors, two ultis, two platinums, and a quarter century so far. We have Nightmare Unicorn, Deco Talker, Heat Soul, Cyber Angel, Ben 10, Fairy Tail Luna, and Shadal Schism. Expecting another one, two, three, four, five hits in the rest of these packs. Let's see if we can get more than that, though. Change of Heart. We have Forbidden Droplet, QC. Okay, come on. Here we go. Let's hope it is a nice one. Effect Monster. <laughs> Dude, our QCs are not great. Our QCs are not great, but we do need them. So not complaining. Fairy tale, Luna. Man, that looks so nice, man. That looks really nice. Into a Pyrus and Triple Tactics Talon. Okay, very cool. Ultra rare talents. Junk Speeder and Luna. Bro, we're actually pulling the bulk QCs. Entis, we have Lone Fire Blossom into a Secret Rare Compulse. Very, very nice. Into Mud Dragon and Pot of Extravagance. We have Shadal Schism, uh, Dogmatica Ecclesia. We have Magician's Salvation Secret Rare. And I believe there's a Ultimate Rare at the back here. Uh, Pre-prep of Rites. And uh, no, it's a Collector's Rare. We have a fifth Collector's Rare. Uh, Herald of the Arclight. It was a Synchro. I thought, I thought we were going to pull another Baron real quick. Five Collector's Rares in a single box. Can't complain about that, can you? I've heard people pull in, like entire boxes with zero ultimate rares. We have Afterglow Dragon and Tri Brigade Revolt into a Herald of the Arclight Secret Rare, Artifact Lancia and Called by the Grave. What else can we get? Vision Hero Faris. Imperm, very nice, super rare. We have a Cherubini Platinum Secret Rare as well there and a Luna and a Benten. Okay, so we are now due to ultimates and one quarter century. We have an extra collector's though. So maybe like one QC, one ulti. We have another Luna Super Rare, D Barrier, into Code Talker, Inverted Secret Rare, Junk Speeder, and Ecclesia. Three packs left, please. 
Please give us another QC. We have a Khaleesia, Effect Veiler. Yo, very nice, super rare. We have a Masked Hero Dark Law, Pot of Desires, and we have our third ultimate rare, Reasoning. Okay, okay, ulti Reasoning. We take that. Yo, look at the little sort of checkered background. That's really cool, actually. Make it count, please. We have Black Wing Samoon, the Poison Wind. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. We do have a QC, thank goodness. Okay. Whew. Please make it a good one. It is an effect monster. If this is Ash Blossom, bro, please. Lava Golem. Okay, it's sort of, you know, mid, mid range. Uh, quarter century secret rare. Of course, we do need it. So we will take it. Uh, called by the Grave and Nightmare Unicorn. Final pack. Question is Does the fifth collector take the spot of the fourth ultimate rare? We are about to find out. We have Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Number 100. Secret rare is Inspector Border, Mech Knight, Crusadia, Avermax, and Ultra Rare, evenly matched. Okay, so the fifth collector did actually take the spot of the fourth ulti. Not a terrible box with the Effect Veiler and the Droplet and the Unicorn. Really, really nice, actually. And we got some nice, uh, some nice cards in here as well. Cool. Okay, trade bait. All right, I do want to have a quick look at prices again here. And as you can see, I have sort of made the pricing sheet look a lot more prettier and uh we filled out all the cards we have in green all the cards we don't have in red currently obviously that's all about to change in a couple of minutes but going through the prices here the general trend overall once again is that everything is just going down uh, i have highlighted some big movements like dark harm dragon is up 20 but there's a Zeus on the market for 110 right now. That's down 40 from last time we checked. And Engage is also down 30 as well. The majority going down. The overall total is down 100. But that's mostly because of Zeus and Engage right there. Uh, into Duelist Nexus. Pretty much everything just going down. Like the overall's down 130. The one we don't have is basically the only one that's gone up. Crimson Dragon. I'm not sure if this is going up because it's played more in Centurion now, but I still feel it's too expensive to pay for. Revolution Synchron has gone down a lot. Uh, Magician's Bond is trending downwards as well, and we do still need to pick up an Unchained Yama. Just the two cards from Duelist Nexus. Tins also overall going down, like £4 overall. Age of Overlord, Little Knight. Man, dude, it's gone up to 575 on eBay. I don't know if anyone's actually buying it at these prices, but yeah, it's going to be a while before we get our hands on that one. Diabell Star is down quite a bit. A lot of the movement in Age of Overlord because uh, when we first looked at it, it was kind of not that long after the set had come out. So obviously prices are going to move a lot since then. And the majority have dropped quite a bit. So there is still quite a few that we need to pick up there. And then the Rarity Collection, when we looked at this originally, it was all just tier zero pre-orders. And they have been spot on with quite a few of the prices. However, uh, I do want to say that Every quarter century secret rare in the set, Rarity Collection, as of right now, is 1,274. And that's less than like core sets like Age of Overlord and Duelist Nexus. So actually not as expensive as I was expecting. So kind of happy about that. Uh, obviously we have no sort of prices to compare them to other than the pre-orders. So there's really not too much to talk about there. Obviously Ash Blossom is just far and away the top dog. Followed by some staples like I think Impermanence is the second highest at 50. And then like Prosperity, things like that dropping around 40. And then looking at the early prices of Valiant Smashers. We have Christia sitting around 100. Legat Gatia is the most expensive one, around 120 to 150, uh, and then Memento Al, 41, so probably going to pick up the Christia and Memento when they drop a bit more. The Gatia, of course, dude, the most expensive one, we pulled that shit, hell yeah, thank god for that. Kind of hoping this uh, trend of everything just consistently going down turns around, but uh, it's not crashing, so, you know, we don't have too much to worry about there. We are still completing this collection, and it is going to happen. <laughs> to go through today man and that's not even all of it we got all of this as well yes we have went dummy stupid in this episode possibly the most progress in a single episode to date our binder is gonna look incredible at the end of this so 
Let's get into it. It's funny because after weeks of like no one at locals having any quarter century secret rares, after the rarity collection, literally every time I walk into locals, first step is like, yo, Revs, you need this, you need this, you need this. I love it, dude. I love it. But also, I hate it because I'm just always poor now. But yeah, we had a couple of sponsorships over the last two months, and you guys all pre ordering the rarity collection through the Gecko Cards link has also helped out a lot with today's opening. We're going to start off with these two little packages here. They're from the same place. It's like a local card shop. They were having a winter sale and a lot of the cards were cheap. I found out about them a little bit late and you know, a lot of the stock was gone, but we managed to pick up some nice cards. You'll see, you'll see. Starting off here with... Yeah, we have the most expensive card in the rarity collection. Quarter Century Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. And then alongside this package here, everything in total, I think was about 200 pounds. Uh, Ash was like 105. So great deal overall. In the next package here we have, oh boy, we have a Dimension Shifter. This is pretty expensive right now. It's still like 18 to 20 pounds. We also have Blackwing Simon. Let's go. Herald of the Arc Light. Fallen of Albaz. Gonna be playing this in our branded deck, of course. Tour Guides from the Underworld. We also have Effect Veiler there. This was uh, classed as lightly played but I don't see anything. I mean, I can just take it out and look at the back in case there's anything there, but we'll do that later. Uh, we also have a Small World, Nadir Servant, and a Cherubini, all in quarter century secret rare. 200 pound overall, man. Like I said, winter sale, this was an amazing deal. If I had gotten to it earlier, we would have picked up more because honestly, holy moly, dude. What a start. I wasn't even sure if they were gonna arrive in the mail, but we got them, it all worked out, and we are loving it. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my. Okay, moving on. We of course have in here the Lava Golem Junk Speeder and Luna that we pulled from our box. So that is to go in the binder. I also did pull this Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon Quarter Century Secret Rare at one of our tournaments. We had like a, a sneak tournament or like a release event for the rarity collection. I think it was like 30 pound and you got five or four packs for entering. Uh, we pulled this out of our entry. So very, very cool. Another QC in the bag, baby. And uh, obviously with that being the release event, everyone just swarmed me with all the QCs. And I was like, mate, it's too early. All the cards are gonna be too expensive still, but we managed to trade into some things. For example, this Blue Eyes Thick Dragon. We got the Blue Eyes Thighs Dragon. Traded this off of Gao for three Ultra Infernoid Harmadic and an Ultimate Rare Dimensional Barrier from the Rarity Collection. Oh my God, it just looks so good. I love this rarity, man. It's so sick. Next up, we have uh, another, our second Fallen of Albaz. I do tend to play two in my branded deck, so I thought we might as well pick up the Quarter Centuries because I sold my Ultimate Rares. Uh, we got the Fallen of Albaz and the QC Egyptian God Slime. We picked these up off of Lisa. Uh, I forget what the trade was exactly in total. I think we paid £40 cash. Uh, a super rare pot of prosperity and like a Draglubion and some other things from our binders. But yeah, got ourselves a second Albaz and the Egyptian God sign. I think this was like 50 at the time, bro. It was so expensive. Next up is from our trade with Jamie, or I think it was like two trades in total with Jamie. We got a quarter century secret rare compulsory evacuation device. And we also have, if I spin these around, a change of heart and a pot of desires. We paid 10 pound cash, I think for the change of heart. And then the other two were part trade for a Lubellion that I had. So it's kind of hard to determine what the values were individually. All I care about is that it cost me 10 pound cash, okay? If I can get rid of old cardboard for new cardboard, that's cool with me. Next up, we have the Iris Sword Soul. This was also obtained at the event from Martin, who was down from Inverness. He just took a bunch of uh, random super rare staples and stuff from the rarity collection. Like I think it was Sphere Mode and a couple of other bits. We had the Iris Sword Soul, probably one of the cheapest QC rares in the collection, but still a lovely looking card. A lovely looking card. They all look so good. This next one's also quite a nice one. If I uh, open these up, obviously we're starting off with a Lightning Storm. And then we also have Mask Tiro Dark Law. The sleeve doesn't do it justice. It kind of takes away the shine and the Elder Lich, the Golden Lord. Paint me like one of your French girls artwork. We got all of these from Chris at Locals. We paid 30 pound cash and a variety of other cards on top of that, if I remember correctly. So another three added to the collection. Like how many is that so far? We including all this? Oh my goodness. And we're only just getting started. We are only just getting started. Next is a couple of pickups from Jess at Locals. We got the Inspector Border and the QC Dark Ruler No More. We paid 17 pound cash for both of these. 
So not a terrible deal whatsoever. And we do need both of them for the binder. Holy dude, this is such a dopamine rush. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. All right, now we'll get into the packages. In this first mail day package, yo, okay, yes, we got uh, the Lady Labyrinth, one of the cards we needed from Battles of Legend, Monstrous Revenge. We got this off of Lewis from the Facebook trade group for 85 pound cash. I think it's currently sat at 105 on eBay. So I was happy being able to pay for a copy that we could find cheaper than that. Then next up, we have a full armored Dark Knight Lancer. This one's quite cheap. This was only a 30 pound from Ryan on the trade group. Card is actually really cool. Like I've seen a few people play it. One of the QCs that I can imagine going up in the future. But yeah, thanks to Ryan for that. And then in the next one, if this is what I think it is, it's a pretty big one. We have, here we go. The Green Magicians of Bonds and Unity. We now have green and yellow. Solomon on the Facebook group was trying to get a quick sale and was selling it for a hundred pound cash. So I swooped in, snagged that up for a hundred pound. In total, we paid less for this then we did the yellow one, and the yellow one is worth way less now. But bro, this was one of the cards I was slightly worried about. We finally got it. We have two out of the two so far. There's gonna be four different colors in total. Next up, we have Avramax at the back there, and then I think this is a couple of secret rares for my staple collection. This was a trade with, I believe, George on the trade group. We gave him a collector's rare droplet, and I think it was a summon limit and punishment as well, or something like that. They were all CRs, uh, but we got here our Effect Veiler, Pot of Desires, of extravagance and the third triple tactics that we need for the secret rare playset. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Next up, this is actually insane. All this shiny cardboard. We have the Snake Eyes Flamberge Dragon out of Age of Overlord, but we also have Welcome Labyrinth times two. I've barely come across any of these, and then I seen Connor on the trade group had two of them, so I asked for the price on uh, both of these. He said £165 for two Welcome Labyrinth plus the Flamberge Dragon. I thought that was a really, really good deal, so I just picked up both of them. Uh, currently trying to get rid of the second one because we don't actually need it. But hey, the Welcome Labyrinth and the Lady leaves us with just Dark Harmed Dragon that we need to complete the Battles of Legend collection, which, speaking of... In this package here, uh, Tier 0 was having like a mad sale recently and I was looking at all the QC rares. There wasn't too many that we could pick up for a decent enough price, but we have a Hita and a Arahime here. I think they were both like priced at 30-ish pounds. And then there is another card in here right behind the Arahime. Boom. The Dark Armed Dragon recently bought out uh, up to 80 pounds, but this completes... Our Battles of Legend Armageddon. Is this American, by the way? No, I don't think it is. I think it's just the sleeve making it look funny. Either way, though, Battles of Legend completed. We're not done yet. We still got quite a few to go here. Uh, in this one, we have a Secret Rare Evenly Matched and Secret Rare Summon Limit. I think it's two Summon Limits, actually. We got these off of James from the Facebook Trade Group for free. He's seen that we were looking for some Secret Rare Rarity upgrades, and they were quite cheap. My guy felt like helping out the channel, so we have a couple of nice shiny cards to add to our staple binder here. So thank you very much, James. Very, very kind of you. We still have quite a few big ones, I believe. We have, yo, okay, here we go. Spellbook of Judgment. Oh, this was me that stuck these together with this stupid tape. Dragostephalia, Spellbook of Judgment. We have the Summon Limit QC and the Fossil Dig as well. We got all four of these for Collector's Rare Baron and two secret super polys from one of the Battles of Legend, I think. And these were from Hayden on the trade group. Very simple trade. You'll love to see it. That's another four QC rares in the bag, baby. Then our second last one. No idea what this is actually. I'm excited. Yo, okay, I remember now, yeah. So this was a trade with Liam on the trade group. He ended up taking our quarter century Almace that we had. We managed to trade it for pre-prep, Ice Dragon's Prison, Ice Barrier, you know, just all the bulk QC rares in a set, essentially. Our third uh, secret compulse for the staple binder. We also have the Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief, and the Win the wind channeler as well. So all pretty cheap quarter century secret rares, five in total for the spare we just had sitting in our binder. You'll love to see it, man. Oh, that's a solid chunk of the rarity collection right there. Hell yeah. And then finally, this is another pretty big one. Another pretty big one. We got a few in here. This is from Daniel on the trade group. We just paid straight cash for these. We have a lot of uh, bumps to my dragon link deck, dude. Borrowed Savage Dragon. We have Pot of Prosperity. There's a big one right there. Nightmare Unicorn, the original art. I'm still to see the alternate art QC, but I imagine it looks really, really nice. 
we have the Blackwing Simon. This is actually a duplicate because we picked one up off of the winter sale. So yeah, I don't actually need this second one. So giveaway, that reminds me, giveaway from the previous episodes. Winner pops up on screen. Congratulations, I'll be in touch to send that out to you. But uh, giveaway for this episode, Blackwing, Simon the Poison Wound. Could be yours. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite QC we've had in this episode, I suppose. There's quite a few to choose from. And yeah, you could get your hands on this little Blackwing Simon. Yeah, moving on from there, we have a redoer in QC Rare. We have Dingursu, classic card, Chaos Space for the Dragon Link deck. And finally, Tri Brigade Revolt. When we opened the OCG version of this set, it was the Tri Brigade Revolt that we pulled in Starlight Rare or whatever it was. So we've now had both versions Pass through our hands, baby. Hell yeah, TCG and OCG. But yeah, that is all of the QCs we've managed to pick up. This has to be at least 50 in total. Oh my God. <laughs> this was not a cheap episode, man. This was not a cheap episode. Holy moly. All right, I am super excited to sleeve all these up and get them in the binder. It's gonna look so cool. I feel like a kid again, collecting football stickers and sticking them in a sticker book. All right. We get to end off with a final look at the updated binder. And uh, dude, I am so happy we finally were able to put all these cards in the binder because it looks so, so nice. Obviously we have the Dark Arm Dragon. We've completely finished off the Battles of Legends set with the two Labyrinths that we needed. I believe this is Crimson Dragon to finish this page as well here. And then Unchained Yama for the Duelist Nexus into the Megatons. Uh, Age of Overlord, we're still missing like 10 different QCs, including the Little Knight, unfortunately. Can't quite pull that, I'm not lucky enough. And then we move into the Rarity Collection, starting off with a Lava Golem, and bro, look! Look, it's basically full! We're only missing a select number of cards per page, man. Our sticker book is looking so close to being complete. Okay, this page maybe, uh, we need a bit more for this page. Yo, this one's almost finished! Just a couple of spells to round that out. And then that is the end of Rarity Collection. Still got a space here and the Valiant Smashers, of course, at the top there. Might be able to grab a Christia in the near future, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I do have a couple of things lined up in terms of Rarity Collection. Age of Overlords, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it at some point, but yeah, dude, our collection is looking so nice.